This video features Michael Byrne, award-winning tile contractor, educator, and noted author. Hi, I'm Michael Byrne. For almost 40 years as a contractor and a consultant, I've been looking for the best materials and methods for tile installation. In 1974, I stopped using Hot Mop and started using Chloralloy 240 exclusively. It's simply the best shower pan material made. In the mid-80s, I started using Noble Seal TS to waterproof and provide crack isolation for my installations. I'm delighted to be doing this video for the Noble Company and glad to share some of the techniques that I've used to provide durable, waterproof, and award-winning tile installations. Custom tiled showers have become increasingly important in today's fashionable homes. They offer an opportunity to be creative with the use of a variety of colors and designs. And tile provides an ideal surface for wet areas that can last for decades. Waterproofing is critical since showers dispense significant amounts of water and leaks can be catastrophic. You can create watertight showers in less time with products from Noble Company. Some of our time-saving products include ProSlope, a preformed composite that provides the required slope under the waterproofing membrane. Chloralloy, the premier shower waterproofing membrane. Noble Seal TS, a bondable waterproofing membrane that can be adhered to walls or floors. Noble Flex Drain Flashing, allows for a smooth transition between Noble Seal TS and a standard clamping ring drain. Noble Curbs, provide waterproof tile-ready surfaces for thresholds. Noble Niches, waterproof tile-ready inserts for shampoo, soap, and other items. And clamping ring drains to ensure integrity of the waterproofing. Before installing tile, the shower must be waterproofed. The waterproofing membrane is typically referred to as a shower pan or shower pan liner. Noble Company offers two different sheet membranes for waterproofing shower receptors. Chloralloy for the traditional mortar bed method and Noble Seal TS for the thin bed method. We will install Chloralloy on the floor and TS on the walls. Construction for a mortar bed shower begins by creating a quarter inch per foot slope under the waterproofing membrane that is required by plumbing code and recommended by the Tile Council of North America. There are a variety of methods used in creating the slope. Some common methods include sloped dry pack mortar, plywood fabricated to create a slope, or ProSlope, a composite made from expanded polystyrene, or EPS, and sloped in all directions to the center. ProSlope is packaged in kits, and each kit includes the pre-sloped EPS and a positive weep protector to prevent mortar from clogging the weep holes in the clamping ring drain. ProSlope kits come in two sizes, 40 by 40 inches and 60 by 60 inches. Pro slope can be cut to size if it's too large, and the slope can be extended with mortar if your shower is larger than the pro slope. To install pro slope, measure from the center of the drain to the wall in all four directions. Determine the pro slope that fits your shower. Our shower is 57 by 57 inches, so we'll use the 60 by 60 inch and cut it to fit. Install by unfolding the two halves and placing on each side of the drain. After creating the slope, the Chloralloy shower pan can be installed. Chloralloy is ideal as a shower pan liner. It is made of chlorinated polyethylene or CPE. It's extremely durable, resistant to a broad range of chemical compounds and not affected by bacteria and variations in temperature. Chloralloy has a proven record of performance with millions of square feet installed since 1964 without a reported product failure. Measure the shower floor, allowing for the necessary upturns and the flashing over the curb. The uniform plumbing code requires the pan be turned up at least three inches higher than the finished dam. Our installer cuts the chloralloy to size and folds it to the proper shape and size outside the shower. CPE will hold a crease and maintain the shape you create. Before installing Chloralloy, apply a bead of Noble Sealant 150 over the drain body. This will help create a waterproof seam between the Chloralloy and the drain body. Lay the Chloralloy over the Pro Slope and begin the installation. 
chloralloy, turned up at the perimeter, can be fastened to the backing or the studs, but penetrations should be at least two inches above the finished dam. The membrane must be cut to fit over the threshold. The plumbing code requires the pant extend over the top of the threshold. Since our installer plans to extend waterproofing into the drying area, he will leave at least two inches on the floor as a seaming area. Inside corners can be fabricated on the job. Creating waterproof corners in a shower pan is critical. There are several methods used to make corners. We recommend the following. A folded corner. This is the most common and safest method. To get a uniform corner, mark the chloralloy on each side to the desired height of the upturn. Next, fold the membrane using the marks to get the proper height. Chloralloy will hold the crease. A tucked corner. This configuration requires space between the studs. If there isn't enough space between your studs, simply create it by notching the corner. To create a tucked corner, mark both sides of the chloralloy and place the marks together to make a pigtail. Push the chloralloy through the studs. A lap corner is used when a thin corner is required. Fold the chloralloy and make a cut to create the lap. Seam the lap with Noble Sealant 150 behind and in front to ensure it is waterproof. Noble Sealant 150 is an important accessory. It is an underwater sealant and can be used in a variety of ways, including sealing the chloralloy to the body of the clamping ring drain, seaming sheets of chloralloy together, sealing a lap corner made from chloralloy, attaching preformed dam corners, and patching penetrations. Use Noble Seal at 150 to seal a patch to the waterproofing membrane. The corners created on the dam are more difficult to fabricate, so Noble Company produces preformed dam corners. To install dam corners, cut the chloralloy at the edge of the threshold, wrap chloralloy over the dam, and fasten it to the outside of the dam. Fasten dam corners to the inside and outside of the threshold using Noble Sealant 150. Flash chloralloy up the jams to a point at least three inches higher than the finished dam. Apply Noble Sealant to the chloralloy, the stud, and the corner to seal the components and hold them in place. These preformed corners can also be used as outside corners. Clamping ring drains have three parts, the drain body, clamping ring, and strainer. The clamping ring secures chloralloy to the drain and ensures waterproof integrity. To secure the membrane to the drain, press the membrane into the Noble Sealant 150 applied over the drain body. Locate the bolts and cut slits in the membrane. Press the bolts through the membrane. Place the clamping ring over the chloralloy, but do not tighten the bolts. Cut the hole for the drain. Attach the clamping ring over the membrane to the drain body and tighten the bolts. Screw in the strainer. Adjust the height to accommodate the mortar bed, tile, and setting materials. Next, place Noble Company's positive weep protector around the clamping ring drain. Since ground and mortar are not waterproof, water that gets to the shower pan must be directed to the weep holes in the drain. The positive weep protector keeps the weep holes in the drain open to ensure that water can escape. Now, Flood test the pan to ensure waterproof integrity. You can create a tileable surface over the threshold with a noble curve. This provides a time-saving alternative to the lath and mortar method. Noble curves are made from expanded polystyrene and a cementitious finish, making them tile ready. To install a curb, measure the threshold and cut the noble curb to size. Spread latex thinset over the chloralloy on the threshold and on the inside of the curb. Press the curb into place, making sure it's properly aligned and level. Tilt towards the shower to create a slope. Mechanically fasten the curb to the threshold from the outside. Next, install a reinforced mortar bed. Follow the Tile Council of North America's recommendations and instructions for the product you choose. A noble niche can create a waterproof, tile-ready space for shampoo, soap, and other items. 
Niches are available in a variety of shapes and sizes and can be installed in a few minutes. To install a niche, position the niche between two studs and check to ensure that it's level. Trace the niche on the backer board. Cut out the traced portion of the backer board. Apply 100% silicone sealant to the backing behind the niche to adhere the niche. Insert the niche into the cavity and press into the silicone. Apply a bead of silicone sealant around the niche to create a waterproof seam. Since bonding agents do not adhere well to silicone, do not spread the sealant over the surface. Although some backer boards are water resistant, they are not waterproof. Installing Noble Seal TS on the front side of the backer board can waterproof it, and tile can be bonded directly to TS. TS can be cut to fit and creased outside the shower to simplify the installation, or it can be cut to size and pressed into place during the installation. TS can be bonded using a latex modified thin set mortar or Noble Bond EXT, Noble's one step adhesive. EXT has greater tack and does not require curing. Therefore, we use EXT. The procedure follows. Apply EXT to the backer board using a trowel. Embed TS into the EXT. Use two parallel beads of Noble Sealant 150 to seam sheets of TS together. Since the walls in the shower will be waterproofed with Noble Seal TS, it is not necessary to install a vapor barrier. Since people tend to exit showers without completely drying, it may be prudent to waterproof the drying area in the bathroom. Noble Seal TS is ideal for this application. Using Noble Company products in your custom tiled shower will save you time, money, and help ensure a problem-free, watertight installation. It's important to note that viewing this video is not a substitute for reading and following current written instructions for the product's use. You should also follow local plumbing codes, applicable industry standards, and the Tile Council of North America's recommendations.